Uh, good afternoon, uh, A.B. My name is uh, Stephen Conroy, as you, you know me well for a number of years. And your formal name, Abraham Weisfeld of Montreal, where we are right now in the Plateau area. And uh, just to let everybody else know, you have a background as an academic and you've completed a doctoral thesis on the uh, a Jewish critique of Zionism, which is what we'll speak on today. Yes. Um, I've already mentioned uh, the difference between uh, the ideology of Zionism and what the Jewish political culture is, or what Jewishness is. I've explained that primary point, which is a starting point. Now I'd like to discuss what uh, the Jewish organized opposition to Zionism is. I'm wearing a t-shirt actually that comes from the conference in 2001 in Chicago when the first North American Jewish opposition came together to meet for the first time and to uh, discuss how we would organize uh, the movement in the, the various uh, sectors of North America. And that's how the Canadian Jewish opposition began as a caucus which was called the uh, Jewish unity for just peace and that's why we have a, an internet and news and discussion list called Unity as well and uh, its uh, identity is at Unity underscore uh, sorry Unity hyphen Canada is the uh, name of that uh, Yahoo group uh, to find on the internet and we basically came to an agreement that even though the, we didn't all agree with the two-state solution as a principle and nonetheless, we could unite on the basis that negotiations should proceed to provide for a Palestinian uh, country where the Palestinian people could be independent, where they wouldn't have to live under military occupation, and where the Palestinian refugees could come to live together with their families so that they could uh, no longer live in exile in a refugee camp in a, a country which was often hostile to their presence. And so, even though we didn't consider that it was justifiable that the Palestinian refugees could be expelled from Israel proper and sent to some other land or, or city, uh, nonetheless we agreed that we would agree to disagree and uh, we nonetheless uh, united around the basis of a, of a two-state proposition as a negotiating position and uh, with a further educational project to uh, raise the remaining issues of, uh, of Jerusalem, the status of Jerusalem, the uh, presence and status of the uh, Palestinian refugees, which amounted to, at that time, five million uh, Palestinian refugees, the largest refugee population in human history, which remains unresolved and at that time remained undiscussed as well. So this is the uh, conference you know, that we began to organize from. Since then, I found it uh, with uh, Michael Benazon, the Canadian uh, Jewish opposition movement, which is called the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians. And over two year part, two year period of time, we organized uh, some 200 members and a number of various groups which are affili affiliated with the ACJC. And uh, it uh, sponsored a successful conference in Toronto this uh, spring, in which 140 delegates came from various uh, other groups as well. Uh, to uh, discuss you know, what was necessary for the Jewish opposition movement to organize and to say on behalf of the Jewish community. And uh, because we rejected the proposition that the Zionist parties were speaking uh, with any justification on behalf of the entire Jewish community, because we know that a majority of the Jewish people are opposed to the occupation of the Palestinian territories in 1967, and we wanted to give voice to this Jewish opposition, because we uh, felt that we were upholding the reputation of the Jewish people, we were upholding international law on this issue, and we were upholding the uh, the right of Jewish people to speak about this issue just as anybody else has a right to speak about this issue. Now, the origins of the Jewish uh, opposition go far back to uh, before the Second World War when the uh, Jewish Bundes movement was the primary spokesperson for Jewish civil rights in Poland and Russia and in opposition to the Zionist movement, which was a uh, marginal uh, political movement at that time. The Jewish Bundes movement, to which my mother actually belonged in the Warsaw area, was a Jewish civil rights movement that was um, socialist in origin and that fought for the, uh, the right of Jews to um, 
um, live as equal citizens in uh, the various countries in which Jews were present, such as Poland, Lithuania, Russia, and, uh, and Germany as well. Now, this uh, Jewish Bundes movement, Bund meaning union or uh, alliance, was um, a strong